With the uh, recent advancement in technology, such as using uh, GPS systems, we're really able to now get a, a good feel for how the uh, player's running load and their playing load affects them physically. Previously in a bygone era, um, this information wasn't readily available to us. Um, so the information that we would use is just what we, the coach would think was appropriate and what the athlete's feedback was given also. So you should be able to get it, but I'll just give you feedback during the drills. Yeah, let me know what I'm at. Yeah. So using this information, we're able to control the player's training load and look at ways of maximising their training. The units that you saw before that we've turned on, uh, they, they talk to the satellites. Um, and once they lock on to the satellites, uh, this receiver uh, reads their signals wirelessly and uh, it's connected to the, the computer. You know, my job's to sort of quantify exactly what they do and uh, make sure they don't do too much or, or too little with some guys as well. During the session, you've achieved 50% of what we think you need to be doing and then been able to top the athletes up post-session or throughout the week to make sure that they have appropriate training loads so that in the short term, but more so long term, that we're going to be developing an athlete that is uh, going to be able to perform to the levels that we want them to. Trent. We look at every main session like today, measure exactly what they do. In a game that uh, these boys run from 12 to 16 kilometres, whereas in training, at the moment, they're probably running four to six. We're able to uh, give them types of running protocols that will uh, improve speed, agility, and also endurance.